For this problem set, we're solving a fraction word problem with the variable on both sides. So we're told that Pablo's gas tank is one-fifth full. After he buys six gallons, it is seven-tenths full. How many gallons can Pablo's tank hold? So we're trying to see how big the gas tank is on Pablo's car. So we're going to call that X because that's what we're going to be looking for. And then let's read back through the question and see if we can tell what's going on. Uh, in the beginning here, it says that Pablo's tank is one-fifth full. So that means he currently has one-fifth of a tank. So one-fifth of X, one-fifth times X. Then he buys six gallons of gas. So he's going to add to that one-fifth tank. He's going to add six gallons. After he adds those six gallons, we're told that it is now seven-tenths full. So now after adding six gallons, he has seven-tenths of a tank of gas. So he started off with one-fifth of a tank of gas. He added six gallons and now he has seven-tenths of a tank of gas. So we want to solve this for X. That'll tell us how big the gas tank is. But first of all, there's a lot of fractions in there and we may want to get rid of those. Since our two denominators are 5 and 10, the lowest common denominator is 10. So what I can do is multiply everything on the left hand side, both this term and this one. Multiply both of those by 10. That's my lowest common denominator and multiply the right hand side by 10 as well so that everything on the left was multiplied by 10 and everything on the right was multiplied by 10. The advantage of doing this is because now some canceling is going to happen. 5 goes into 10 twice so I'm left with 2 times 1x or 2x. The next term here 10 times 6 is just 60 and then on the right hand side the tens cancel giving me 7x. The advantage of doing this multiplying by the lowest common denominator is we don't have any fractions in our equation any longer. So now it's a lot easier for us to solve. We just need to get the x's on one side and I'll move the 2x over by subtracting it. Subtract that 2x over. That leaves me with just 60 on the left hand side and a 5x on the right hand side and then I can divide both sides by 5 and the 5's will cancel and I'm left with x equals 12. So it looks like Pablo's tank size is 12 gallons.